we now have the specs of the Tesla Model 3 performance version. Elon tweeted these out that the Tesla dual motor all wheel drive performance Model 3, that's a mouthful, is going to go zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. It'll reach 155 miles per hour for its top speed and it will have a 310 mile range. Now sometimes with these you see a bit extended range because the motors are more efficient, they're smaller, but on the performance versions that's not typically the case because the motors are bigger and they actually are less efficient. But the fact that you get the same rated range is great. Now he also unveiled some other stats for us. Notably, all-wheel drive, and I know a lot of you guys are really excited about this because you either want the better traction control uh, or you live in a colder climate where all-wheel drive is just more beneficial. Um, I really couldn't imagine being in, in snow and stuff in a rear-wheel drive car. I know people have done it, and I know people have done videos on it, but personally, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about that. So the all-wheel drive version is going to cost $5,000. Elon had tweeted previously that it would cost less than what it is on the Model S, but me and many other folks, after seeing the pricing for autopilot and some of those things translated directly over from the Model S to the Model 3, uh, guessed this as well. So $5,000 for all-wheel drive. Now, this one will go 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds, which is about half a second faster or 0.6 seconds faster than the rated version of the rear-wheel drive, um, which I think it's 5.1, but when testing gets 4.7, somewhere around there. So we'll see, it's gonna be quicker, but not by a ton. Um, and it'll have a top speed of 140 miles per hour. And that of course is software limited, just as is the 155 miles per hour. Now, another big option that I know a lot of people are interested in is the white interior. And currently it's only going to be available for the performance version. Uh, and this apparently has to do with availability, not necessarily uh, pricing or anything like that. So, and we don't have pricing on the white interior as of yet. Uh, we do, though, have the cost. And so Elon tweeted out, and this is a bit different than how we typically look at the cost. It's that all options, the wheels, paint, etc., are included, uh, with the exception of autopilot, and the cost is $78,000. So quite a big jump from that base model $35,000 car. And uh, it's the same as the BMW M3, according to Elon, but 15% quicker with better handling uh, will beat anything in its class on the track. So that's a pretty bold claim. I can't wait to see some people do that. Uh, I would love to go test it. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to be ordering a performance edition. For me, the cost is just too high. And the reason I say that is because I actually updated the calculator so you can price it out if you're interested, even if you don't have the configuration options available yet. So if you go over to teslanomics.co and you look up at calculators, there's a link there for the Model 3 cost calculator. And if you recall from what we did before here, you know, you choose your options and it's defaulted to the ones that are currently available. So for example, the long range battery uh, is required uh, and then the premium upgrade is also required. So those two are defaulted to yes. You can change them if you want. Now I've added a new section for all wheel drive and performance. So I have two options there, the plus 5,000 for the all wheel drive and the plus 29,000 for the performance edition. Now the performance edition, I should also mention, comes with a carbon fiber spoiler and 20 inch wheels. Um, and we don't know if there are other paint options, but those will be coming out when the configurator is released. Now, Elon had mentioned that they were going to release it, uh, but I haven't seen any screenshots of it yet. Maybe by the time this posts, they've come out. Um, looking in my own configuration option, which because I do have an open reservation, um, it's not showing up for me at all. N none of the other options are. So I'm not sure if they just just haven't released it yet or if it's one of those things that is available to some people and not others based on waitlist or employees or whatever so uh, on the calculator though you can um, choose you know whichever option you want the all-wheel drive or the performance uh, let's just go run run through this now when you choose performance uh, and you choose a color it'll still say you know plus one thousand dollars if you want the sport wheels it'll say plus fifteen hundred dollars but I actually uh, zero those out um, in the cost calculation. So um, the finance section I, I've minimized down um, and I've kind of defaulted based, if you're in a US state, I default to the local tax rate, uh, but you can update that and change that so that way it's correct, especially if you're in another country or something, um, you know, you'll, you'll wanna change that. Now, the, the thing that's crazy is I predicted this a week ago that it would be around $90,000 and a lot of people were uh, really skeptical about me, me saying that. Um, however, when you price this out, performance model plus full self-driving at $8,000, and then you check out the loan, 
with taxes, which are really low here in, in Hawaii, which is what it's defaulted to, you're over $90,000. Now, um, there is a, a thing about the down payment that I haven't fixed yet. It's you have to have a $2,500 down payment, plus you already have your $1,000 uh, reservation. So I'm gonna update this, but right now, if you uh, you know want to put in more, add 2,500 to whatever you wanna put down. And then I've defaulted the loan information there so you can figure out you know what your typical payments might be. Um, I'll just leave it to 2,500 for now. Then I have information about your charging um, uh, charging costs, so your driving habits, your commute, your per kilowatt hours. And now the per kilowatt hours, again, are defaulted to whatever is average for you if you're in a state in the United States. Otherwise, just enter whatever it is there. Um, and then it will do a currency conversion as well if you're in Europe or something like that. Uh, then you can add extras, incentives, um, or, or insurance and all that. And I defaulted it to what, you know similar quotes I've seen online. Now the incentives, uh, just a note about this, they don't actually reduce the purchase price of the vehicle. Uh, so if you, if you get a tax credit or tax rebate, those come later. Meaning whatever you choose for your options here, whatever that price is, let's say it's $90,000, you need to pay for that. If you get a loan, you need to pay the loan payment on that entire amount, regardless of these incentives because they come so much uh, further down the road. Um, so you can click see results. I'll ask you to join the email list if you want. You can say no thanks and then it'll break it down for you. Um, in this case, we're looking at about $1,800 a month for a Model 3 performance version. Uh, that's a lot. And you know, you can see there that the, the final cost without any incentives would be uh, $98,000, which includes the interest on the loan and those kind of things. So. Yeah, it's it's a good it's an expensive car. I personally would probably no, most definitely recommend buying a Model S. Now, if you're just a performance junkie and you want this car and maybe you can't afford the P100D Model S, completely understand it's another $50,000 almost. Yeah, it's going to be um, you know, this might be a good option for you, but personally, too expensive for my blood. I would rather just save up and get the P100D Model S. I think the Model S is just a better car. Um, you know, it's personal preference. Some people will disagree with that. Elon agrees uh, that, that it's far better. So re really curious what you guys think. I hope this calculator helps you. I hope you enjoy it. Leave me a comment uh, or hit me up on Twitter if you find any bugs or anything. I'm still working through this and you know, I hand coded this entire thing. So uh, yeah, yeah, there's definitely uh, gonna be some bugs in there. Uh, no doubt about it.